Hi, and welcome to our webcast, The New Era of Insurance, how TCS and Microsoft are helping their insurance clients in spearheading disruptive transformations in the industry. Brought to you by our sponsor, TCS. I'm Sarah Kirk, content strategist for CIO Marketing Services. We have a great discussion ahead of us with fascinating guests from TCS and Microsoft. For more information on this topic after viewing the webcast, feel free to take a look at the resources section of your console where you can find more materials from our sponsor, uh, including the slides used today. Now I'm honored to introduce today's guests, Akshay Chandra, Head of Innovation, Growth and Transformation for TCS, Shri Venkat, Chief Architect and Evangelist for Microsoft Business Unit of TCS, and Ankar Sandhu, Azure Solutions Insurance Lead for Microsoft UK. Welcome to each of you. Can you share a bit about your background in this space and why it's an important topic to you? Akshay, we can start with you. Hi, um, uh, lovely summer day today. Uh, exciting to be uh, in this discussion. Um, I had uh, innovation, growth and transformation discussions uh, with our insurance and wealth management customers based in uh, UK and Ireland. And uh, what, what my job entails is um, to work with customers, to partner with them, to bring propositions from uh, our partners like Microsoft and research and innovation to affect our customers' uh, top line growth and to help them uh, transform themselves digitally in today's world. Great, thank you, Akshay. Shri, how about you? Great, thanks for having me today, Sarah. Uh, Shri Venkat, Chief Architect and Evangelist at TCS. I'm a consulting and innovation leader uh, with a charter to drive growth and transformation for our Microsoft customers in the DFSI retail CPG industries in the UK and I region. With two decades of experience in software engineering and architecture, I'm a transformation practitioner helping clients embark on strategic cloud transformation initiatives, as well as business transformation initiatives with a focus on leveraging cloud native services to embark on, uh, uh, to, em to enable organizations uh, to modernize their IT landscape uh, and help them to lead innovation and exciting initiatives for their growth and efficiencies. In the TCS simplistic framework of three horizons, where horizon one is tech transformation, uh, I focus on horizon two and horizon three, uh, particularly which focus on business innovation and business uh, ecosystem re-envisioning. I'm also a technology enthusiast, a blogger, a thought leader, and I'm based out in London. Thanks for having me today again. Great, thank you. And last but not least, Ankar, welcome. Yeah, thanks, Sarah, for the introduction. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's great to be part of this uh, this conversation today. So, Ankar Sandhu, I currently lead our insurance uh, um, Azure Solutions business here in the UK. And uh, to be honest, insurance is probably one of the most exciting areas, hence why we're we're part of this call today. I'd say I have all the verticals that I get, I get to work across with my team, uh, insurance when it comes to the horizons. And Shri just mentioned there are definitely uh, more mature when it comes to some of the other verticals in financial services. But yeah, my team, my job is to really help our customers on that journey, that transition to, to Azure, but also working hand in hand with partners such as TCS. So thank you. Great. Well, thank you all for that background and welcome again. Thanks so much for taking the time to be here with us. We're excited to learn a lot more from you. So let's go ahead and get started. So Akshay, what are the key challenges that the UK insurance industry is facing and what would be some of the focus areas for insurers to embark on growth and transformation? So just like how uh, Ankar said, insurance is an exciting place to be, uh, especially, uh, you know, in today's world. Uh, however, let's not forget that insurance tends to be a grudge purchase. Nobody actually seeks to buy insurance. Uh, you know, it is it is seen as uh, uh, almost a discretionary spend. And uh, uh, coupled with what conversations, you know, we're having all around us, you read any news article, any literature, uh, board level conversations we've been having with our customers, there are um, some headwinds uh, and there are some tailwinds um, that uh, this sector is facing today. And uh, uh, let's let's focus on headwinds for a moment. Um, so there is um, a stress on growth, uh, inflationary stress, uh, increased cost of living, uh, dropping interest rate, and there is geopolitical tension, there is fluctuating fuel prices. Um, 
and then coupled uh, with change in consumer buying. So today's uh, consumer uh, is procuring um, not only insurance products, but any other financial services uh, products quite differently to what uh, this sector is being used to seeing. Uh, so these are some of the headwinds, and but there are some strong tailwinds as well. Uh, technology adoption um, in terms of consumers is uh, highest in this decade. Uh, you know, we call this a decade um, uh, given the adoption of technology, cloud adoption, enterprise agility, and of course, today, open AI and chat GPT are on everybody's mind. Everybody uh, sort of understands how technology adds value to their lives. And this is a very important tailwind. Now, coupled with both these two aspects, uh, look at uh, let's look at how our insurance and wealth management customers are looking to change their strategy. Uh, and I just uh, described this with a 4P uh, kind of a framework. So the first one is uh, impact on people. So um, we already discussed, you know, every household's balance uh, sheet has completely changed uh, how they procure products today. Uh, what is the composition of their savings versus discretionary spend? Uh, also, there is a, a lot of technology adoption. People um, are actively engaging uh, in terms of their mobile devices. Uh, and therefore, there is omni-channel strategy that is very important today. Uh, and the second P is all around profitability. Every insurance and wealth management customer today is under tremendous stress to increase their bottom line to be more profitable, obviously, because there is a stress on their top line uh, growth. And therefore, um, cloud adoption, uh, making the enterprises digital uh, contact center optimization, looking at machine fest strategies, these become very important to help customers improve their profitability. Now, the third P is all around purpose. So insurance purpose is, in essence, to give us peace of our mind, right? Um, so today, more and more insurers want to play on the purpose of financial security, financial, physical, mental well-being. And therefore, there is an angle of sustainability and ESG as well. Now, given these three P's, the fourth P, which is products, uh, you know, is completely changing today because uh, insurers and wealth uh, practitioners, they want to introduce differentiated product sets. Uh, they want to look at hyper personalizing um, insurance products to every one of us, because every one of us here for, uh, you know, in the call would look at buying insurance quite differently uh, aligned to our own lifestyles. So I would um, kind of summarize the kind of conversations we've been having with uh, business leaders, technology leaders in this sector into these four P's. Um, this is just a helicopter view of the kind of conversations and trends that we have been seeing. Thanks, Akshay. That was a really broad and insightful overview of the UK insurance industry. So thank you for that. Um, you spoke of key trends and the impact across the four paradigms of people, profitability, profitability, purpose, and products. So, Shri, how do you think these organizations can prepare to address the challenges that Akshay highlighted? Um, and also, what are some of the key transformation themes that could provide new opportunities for these organizations? Sure. Thanks, Sarah. Good question. Uh, in terms of preparations, fundamentally, we see technology driving business going forward. So from that perspective, and Akshay also Right, I mentioned uh, cloud uh, a few times there. Let's take that for a minute. Most of our clients are in cloud adoption journey already in some shape or form. Cloud adoption does help organizations to move away from fixed commitments in terms of infrastructure and hence costs and move towards consumption based model. Uh, while cloud adoption drivers, objectives and maturity levels are different with different organizations, it is beneficial for organizations to undertake at a minimum automation upliftment and security upliftment as part of this journey. However, our industry is running quite a bit of legacy technologies and monolith systems that generally hinders agility, pace of change and feature enhancements. So this is where I think adopting modern Mac architectures and technologies like serverless and designer based low code, low code, no code technologies AI and SDLC like GitHub Copilots, for example, they all bring in agility in IT teams. They help deliver quicker time to market, faster feature development, 
opportunity to just focus on business logic and reduce or avoid mundane infrastructure overheads. All these provide an opportunity to rationalize and consolidate the IT estate and TCS have been successful in helping clients achieve cost savings anywhere between 15 to 40% in this cloud adoption journey. And more importantly, positioning our clients as champions of disruption in the market. We typically help our clients to leverage and exploit cloud efficiencies by developing business case and cloud strategy for them to adopt cloud in an optimal way based on the identified, uh, based on the identified priorities and eventually help them to realize the value of cloud. Now, in terms of transformation themes that you spoke about, let's take underwriting for an, for, a, for example. Underwriters spend significant amount of time in mundane administrative tasks. So automation using technologies like Power Platform, NLP technologies like image and document scanning, speech to text, image to text, all of these enable underwriters to focus on high value tasks. At TCS, we have expertise in technologies like Azure Cognitive Services and bring in acceleration by leveraging out-of-the-box modules that provide jumpstart when embarking on such digitization initiatives. Now, the le next level of transformation we are seeing is to make sense of these blocks of data. It is about getting comfortable with multiple sources of data and maximizing the data insights to unlock growth. Uh, through these uh, data driven insights and, and by analyzing say renewals, old and new submissions and incoming data from various sources, underwriters can effectively forecast and assess the marginal impact on the new course of their, for their portfolios and even identify gaps and help close them. Now, this is just one use case of analytics driving growth and engaging customer at earlier stage. In a nutshell, the theme for smart underwriting and claims is a shift from hindsight to foresight using digitization analytics and use of AI. I also wanted to just highlight that we have come up with a TCS Days offering, which is a short six weeks contextual assessment and POC for adoption of generative AI across enterprises. Now, other than underwritings and smart underwriting transformation around that, we are also seeing significant drive and transformation around customer experiences, dynamic pricing, channel transformations, cross-sell and upsell, quite a few of things that Anka uh, actually rightly called out. Uh, those are some of the uh, trends that we are seeing. Over to you, Sarah. Yeah, thank you, Sri. Thanks for that in-depth view of some of the transformation trends in the industry. So cloud and modern technologies, analytics and data science and AI and ML are the sort of technologies that must be supporting these transformations. So Ankar, can you tell us how Gen AI and other AI features like co-pilots are powering these transformations? Yeah, no, sure. I mean, that was a really good, really good summary there from Sri, right? And um, just to, just to hit on that point, yeah, we've, we've been on this journey working with the likes of TCS, really thinking about transforming that claims process, really thinking about that underwriting process as well. Yeah, we've had the technology stacked there today when it comes to especially Azure and our, our cognitive services and our machine learning services that we have today. But the excitement in the part of the market right now, if I think about the conversations that I'm having, my team are having with CIOs and execs, in conjunction with some of our partners like TCS, yeah, we're being pulled into, yeah, there's a big excitement, big top of mind around generative AI right now. Yeah, the first thing is really around what is it? Yeah, the second piece is how could this potentially impact my business and yeah, my, and my, yeah, my profitability line? Um, but then the more important piece is, yeah, working with our customers who are getting a lot of demand from their business units about how can they take advantage of this in a secure and responsible way? So uh, yeah, I think I think everyone's probably aware that yeah, it's very very much in the press. Yeah, in the sense of Microsoft's formed this partnership with uh, with OpenAI to collaborate and develop yeah these artificial intelligent technologies. And as part of that partnership, yeah, you've, you've you've seen the announcements in the market where we started this first wave of integration of OpenAI across a whole host of our cloud solutions and products. Yeah, to work alongside as what we call a co-pilot to drive that productivity productivity and accelerate that innovation. So yeah, all of our customers, whether insurance or other verticals, will be using the likes of Microsoft 365. Yeah, your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, 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 yeah, Outlook, for example, to help drive, summarize documents, automate some of the tasks that you do today. 
is obviously integration within Dynamics as well as the Power Platform. But then more importantly, yeah, where our com customers have and want to innovate quicker, uh, we've got GitHub as well as a co-pilot option. So yeah, really increasing that developer productivity, but really also accelerating the opportunity for our insurance customers to to innovate. But for me, obviously coming from the Azure business, it's the it's the integration with Azure and OpenAI. If I could pick three scenarios that are top of mind for that, what we're seeing in the market now, I think the first piece is absolutely around the contact centers. You know, thinking about this, you know, how can you provide that, that better virtual agent experience? How can the customers leverage natural language in their language and get richer information at the start of that journey? You know, thinking about taking a, you know, a step forward, you know, how could you personalize that? How can they ask specific questions that are related to their policy? It's a very powerful in the sense of what you can do with sort of generative AI and chat GPT. And then start thinking about the summarization aspect of open AI and, 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 uh, and this technology. So think about what we do today where we can take, um, and we've got an example with, with a bunch of, um, contact centers, uh, specifically in the telco space right now, but we're trialing this across the financial service as well, but using some of the cognitive services we have today to translate voice to text and then using open AI to, to look at that, summarize that and start building more intelligence and analytics on top of that. Um, I think the other bits for me that are important when it comes to generative AI, and I think a big use case that we're seeing right now is we've seen customers, yeah, I think this was mentioned earlier around what can you do with a plethora of different types of documents that hit, uh, that are, that are, are, are flowing through an organization, an insurance company. Yeah. How do we extract the relevant data by using some of the cognitive services and the stack that we have today? But then what's the opportunity to start really using yeah, open AI and generative AI to start summarizing those documents. We've got a great example that was announced at Build where one of our UK financial service customers, for example, has built a bot. So it's, it's available to everyone in the, in their organization. And you as a, as an end user could upload, say, a hundred page PDF or document and start asking general questions about it and summarizing it in natural language and really saving you time and having to read through a 50, 100, 150 page document. And I say the last scenario for me where I think it's very relevant in the sense of what we're seeing in insurance um, is how do we giving users a natural interface, so a chatbot using ChatGPT, chat GPT, um, but letting, yeah, for example, yeah, department leads, execs use um, natural language to go and query a data warehouse or a data lake directly to pull insights related back to their business. Very, very powerful. But I'm going to close on, I think, on this question, really, the importance of working with ourselves and our partners. You can't get this right unless, number one, we're working in conjunction with yourselves to really build those data foundations. You think about unifying that data, democratizing that data, making it available for analysis and reporting. And for AI, it's so important to get that right. Um, the second piece is we've got to think about AI and generative AI securely and, and responsibly. So absolutely, we need to be bringing that into the conversation. And I think the third piece for me, just based on what demand we're seeing as an organization, and I'm sure my colleagues at TCS are, is getting the right use cases out. You know, be very specific on what's going to have the biggest impact for your business and really aligns to your business priorities. I think it's important. Thanks. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for that. Shri, going back to my earlier question on transformation themes, can you tell us how building effective ecosystems can lead to spearhead disruptions in the industry? Sure, Sarah. Uh, another great question. Um, I'll have to, uh, you know, keep referring back to what uh, a few things that Akshay mentioned earlier on. Um, so a fundamental aspect of digitalization is to connect insurers and brokers so that everyone in the value chain, including customers, can exchange data in a meaningful manner. Now it's about creating collaborative win-win model and focusing on customer-centric journeys rather than a product-centric one. Moreover, there's a huge opportunity to create broader client buying experiences with cross-sell and upsell strategies that Akshay was referring to. For instance, today when I shop for a retail insurance, I'm a new customer for the insurer. The data I provide to get a quote is discrete and the price or quote I receive in return is also discrete. Now, this is where we anticipate an ecosystem play for brokers and insurers to exchange contextual data in real time in, and in a compliant manner. 
This allows insurers and underwriters to understand their customers better, confidently identify a customer uniquely, and then build a complete 360 degree profile of the customer. Now, another potential ecosystem play is in integrating with regulatory bodies like health, vehicle, housing, council agencies, etc., to uh, augment the customer profile and also to validate and verify the data in near real time. Underwriters are also exploring the use of sensors, IoT, telematics. They're already in play now uh, using predictive analytics and ML models uh, like behavioral analysis to gain new insights on the underlying asset that they are covering. This helps them to manage claims with high efficiency and accuracy and also helps them to assess risk and build a risk profile for forecasting and future pricing. Now, this customer profile and risk profile together uh, helps insurers to categorize customers, uh, demogra uh, identify their demographics, uh, identify their past buying patterns, identify any change in their circumstances in, in real time. And in order to come up with personalized customer experience across all touch points, dynamic pricing, discounts and rewards. This level of customer centricity gives insurers ability to go direct to consumer as well. That again, actually I was referring to earlier. Undertaking these initiatives, however, will require significant amount of up, uh, uplifting the technology, starting with data modernization. Organizations must ingest data from various sources, aggregate, wrangle, curate, and augment the data in near real time with the ecosystem partners and data providers. The data platform modernization on Azure, adopting modern data architectures, data governance and management, data analytics, and data sciences are some of the key pillars of data organization, and TCS is helping its customers with data analytics and AI services on Microsoft Cloud to help enterprises with improved uh, access for data, for better collaboration, sharper insights for better decision making, and better product performance. Back to you, Sarah. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's interesting to know that data continues to play a critical role in building intelligent features and new business capabilities. So I'd like to pick up on one aspect that Sri, Sri spoke about earlier on channel transformation. Um, we see quite a trend in organizations upgrading their contact center to cloud native platforms like D365 Digital Contact Center. So Ankar, could you explain how the staff and customer experience can be improved with this and the benefits of integrating call transcripts with data analytics to drive augmented capabilities for organizations? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, we sort of touched upon this in the last question, but I think by integrating call transcripts with data analytics, you know, organizations can suddenly unlock real valuable insights from their customer interactions. So, yeah, you're analyzing that call data, sentiment, customer preferences, start identifying those trends, improve that sort of agent performance and really start tailoring your services to meet the customer's needs effectively. Yeah, and, yeah I think a common scenario is there's a, there's a word used, failure demand. You know, how many times does a, a customer come in, say via a chatbot or a virtual agent, how many of those go straight away to voice or actually don't even bother going through the rest of the process, the journey, right? So how do you capture that failure demand and make sure that you know, we're progressing that journey and making it a rich journey for your customer, you know, depending on whichever channel they come through? Um, the other bit there, and I think this has been touched upon by, 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 by both, both members of the TCS team was really around that personalized customer experience. You know, how can you leverage data analytics yeah, to gain a real deep understanding of your customer's preferences, behaviors, and pain points. Um, yeah, this information really empowers your agents to deliver more personal experiences. They can resolve with, you know, obviously issues more effectively, but then yeah, the key bit is yeah, they can foster that customer loyalty as well when it comes to that. And then the piece around the augmentation piece and the augmented capabilities, yeah, I think it's opened up a whole bunch of opportunities. Um, you know, with natural language processing, machine learning, yeah, you can really start to automate some of these tasks, identify sentiment patterns, perform sentiment analysis, yeah, and even offer real-time guidance to agents, you know, sort of leading to faster issue resolution, but also improving that overall customer satisfaction as well. 
Thanks. Thank you for those insights on the challenges, the trends and technologies that are at play in the UK insurance industry. It's become evident that insurers no longer benefit greatly just from picking point solutions first off the shelf, but they're better off engaging strategic partners like TCS and Microsoft to drive their growth and transformation agenda. So Akshay, can you explain to our viewers how a TCS Microsoft joint strategic partnership is bringing value to your clients? Oh, I would uh, actually describe uh, TCS and uh, Microsoft um, partnership across three C uh, dimensions. So uh, collaborate, co-create and co-invent. Um, this is what we've been doing for the past uh, 15 years or so. Um, so we collaborate um, across delivery sales uh, and we have strategic partnership. We have been co-creating industry specific uh, solutions. So uh, she spoke about, um, uh, you know, what we're doing in the insurance space around underwriting and claims. Ankar spoke about what we are uh, doing in contact center optimization space. And co-invent is, is the next gen that we are working towards how open AI uh, can bring value to customers in profitability and in, um, you know, their machine first uh, kind of a journey. So uh, the strength of our partnership has been growing from, um, you know, strength to strength, I would say. Uh, it started with um, a couple of years ago, we formed um, a dedicated uh, Microsoft business unit uh, with a particular view of uh, looking at how how hyperscalers like Microsoft um, could could help address our customers' challenges uh, in cloud adoption, in uh, you know um, next gen workspace, and so on. So Microsoft Business Unit, uh, I'll give you some numbers now, um, has uh, around forty thousand plus certified consultants from uh, TCS uh, who have between them sixty thousand plus certifications on um, almost all Microsoft technologies. And uh, we are an allied partner with uh, Microsoft and uh, therefore it helps us bring all of 18 Microsoft specialized, um, uh, you know, uh, technologies. And uh, we have completed together 1000 plus engagements across uh, 225 plus global customers. And uh, this is this is some astounding numbers. Uh, and this shows uh, what uh, and how our two organizations are invested on behalf of our customers, because uh, customer is at the center of what our purpose is uh, and how we want to add uh, value to uh, to them in their uh, in their journey. And um, uh, along with Microsoft, we've been working on um, a number of latest, um, uh, you know, industry based propositions, Microsoft Cloud for retail, uh, Microsoft Cloud for sustainability, Microsoft Cloud for healthcare, uh, Azure 5G PMEC, um, a Microsoft supply chain platform. These are uh, some of the I, I can't uh, name all of them, but these are some of our um, uh, propositions that we are taking to our customers uh, along with uh, Microsoft. Now, what is the uniqueness of this partnership uh, is that uh, there is um, there is the best of breed of both the organizations, the contextual knowledge of understanding the marketplace, uh, contextual knowledge of understanding of uh, our customer about the industry, uh, and the depth of partnerships with these customers that TCS brings, uh, coupled with investments and the technology, uh, you know, dominance that Microsoft enjoys in the marketplace. This has become a win-win proposition, as we can see uh, from, from how the partnership has been growing. Uh, and um, also, I think it uh, combines Microsoft's corporate vision of um, to help people and businesses uh, throughout the world to realize their full potential and uh, TCS's, uh, you know, desire to uh, help our customers build on their belief. Uh, and together, uh, we are committed to add uh, value to our customers and to become their uh, innovation led growth and transformation partner. Thanks, Akshay. That was great. At this point, I'd like to invite each of our speakers to share a concluding thought to leave our audience with today. Akshay, would you like to go first? Yeah. So uh, I will only reiterate um, that uh, while insurance is under tremendous stress, uh, it is a very important uh, business sector uh, for us as a partnership to focus on. Uh, we have built uh, and we have co-created some of the industry propositions like claims optimization, underwriting workbench, but there is more to come. 
and therefore we are committed to uh, help our customers uh, be it open ai adoption or contact center adoption uh, to add value to them thank you for that shri would you like to go next yeah thanks sarah um i must tell it was a great conversation to hear akshay and ankash perspective as well um and i i agree with uh, with all the things that said here i just wanted to add that uh, you know while like i said earlier most of our customers are already on cloud journey in some shape or form i think this is an era of uh, business transformation uh, multi horizon transformation innovation right uh, embarking on cloud native journeys bringing in uh, growth transformation alongside efficiencies and uh, uh, and uh, and this is where tcs and microsoft have both uh, jointly invested quite heavily focused quite uh, quite heavily as well and we are working together as well like uh, akshay was just mentioning so looking forward for all the transformations that are uh, going to come our way thank you great thank you and ankar any final thoughts yeah no re- again really enjoyed the conversation here and yeah thank you for thank you for hosting us um i mean for, for me yeah i think yeah the the partnership and working with tcs over the last few years in in this space the knowledge i think they bring from an industry lens yeah there's, there's I mean some of the team that've got 20 25 years of insurance experience we obviously bring the technology and the platform but yeah so that really taking our customers on that journey yeah you know, i think everything we've spoken about today yeah sometimes customers are at the start of that journey yeah in the sense of yeah you know, that that data platform that foundation this is where we we can help you and 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 show you that road map as a as a team on that journey but also leverage the accelerators that TCS have built to really prove some really quick MVPs and proof of values for for our customers as well in this space so yeah really enjoyed it thank you thank you each for those final thoughts and thank you to our audience for tuning in today that concludes our webcast the new era of insurance how TCS and Microsoft are helping their insurance clients in spearheading disruptive transformations in the industry sponsored by TCS To learn more about this topic or to schedule a deeper conversation, you can reach the team via email at mbu.marketing@tcs.com. You can also find more materials in the resources section of your console. Thank you TCS and to our amazing guests, Akshay Chandra, Head of Innovation, Growth and Transformation for TCS, Shri Venkat, Chief Architect and Evangelist for Microsoft Business Unit of TCS, and Ankar Sandhu, Azure Solutions Insurance Lead for Microsoft UK. For TCS and CIO, I'm Sarah Kirk. Thank you so much for tuning in.